Hi there, today I want to talk about my favorite Kindle that Amazon is currently selling. It's not the Oasis, it's not the Signature Edition, it's actually the Kindle Paperwhite Kids Edition. Now you're probably wondering why in the world would anyone want to get a kid's Kindle? I ain't no kid, I'm an adult. Why would I want to get a kid's Kindle? That's exactly what I thought when I first did my research for the new Kindle Paperwhite when it came out late last year. But it turns out the Kids Edition is actually really suitable for many adults for many reasons and that's what I want to talk about today. We're going to break this video down into three different parts. First, we'll talk about the buying experience, what exactly it's like to buy the Kindle Paperwhite Kids Edition. Then we'll talk about unboxing it and how it compares to the regular Kindle Paperwhite. And then lastly, I want to show you the software on the Kindle Paperwhite Kids and how it's actually a bit different than a regular Kindle. Let's get started. Now, the Kindle Paperwhite Kids model actually starts at $159. Now, what you're getting is actually just the regular old Kindle Paperwhite baseline model, which normally costs $139. The Kindle itself is exactly the same. There is no difference in terms of the hardware that you're getting. To be clear, this is not the signature edition. You are not getting that ambient light sensor and you're not getting wireless charging. You're only getting the basic features you'll get on the regular Kindle Paperwhite. However, on the kids edition over here, you're actually getting no advertisements, AKA no special offers built into the kids model model over here that normally costs 20 bucks extra if you were to buy the regular Kindle Paperwhite. So the price is exactly the same when you add in that factor. Now this is where things get a bit interesting. Amazon actually includes three other things with the Kindle Paperwhite kids model that you don't get included when you buy the Kindle Paperwhite by itself. The first thing you get is actually a case right out of the box. That normally costs $30 if you're gonna buy a Kindle Paperwhite on its own. So you're actually getting that included in this package. Secondly, you're also getting one full year of Amazon Kindle Kids Plus subscription, which actually costs about $36. That you're getting for free, included in the price of the kids model over here. And lastly, you're actually getting one more thing, which is a two year warranty on this Kindle Paperwhite kids model compared to the one year warranty on the regular Kindle Paperwhite, that's actually very significant. You're getting so much more out of this kids model than you would if you bought the Kindle Paperwhite by itself. Now, Amazon is advertising this whole package to cost around $269. Let me actually break that down. If you simply have the Kindle Paperwhite with the no ads and a case, you're getting to the 189 price point. That by itself is more expensive than buying the kids edition. Now if you add in that one year kids plus subscription, the price actually adds up to 225 and the remaining value of about $40, $45 is coming from that one year of extra warranty. Altogether, you're getting a very high value package at a steep discount, putting aside the one year warranty and putting aside the kids subscription, you're still getting a discount just with the case and the no ads included. Now I do wanna spend a second talking about this two year warranty that comes with the kids edition. When you look at the product page, it calls it a two year worry free guarantee. And they even mention a word over here, if you break it, they'll replace it for free. This to me is a bit misleading because I did some research. When you press the link to find out more, you actually could clearly see this is simply just an extended one year warranty. The regular one year limited warranty is turning into a two year warranty, but it's still the same limited warranty. They're just advertising it as this new term of a worry free guarantee. When you look at the fine print, it still has the same verbiage saying any kind of damage is not covered. So I don't know why they're advertising this. If you break it, they'll replace it. Maybe I'm misunderstanding it, but from the research I did, this two year warranty is no different than the one year warranty that comes with any other Kindle. They're just adding an additional year to it. It still does not cover damage or anything like that. I really hope I'm wrong about that one, but that's what I'm seeing right now. So just be cautioned when you buy the kids model, you can't just break it and get a free one replaced. There's still definitely some restrictions on that warranty. Next up, let's actually unbox this device and see what the experience is like. 
Now, when I got the Kindle Paperwhite box with the kids model, it was a much bigger box than I'm used to getting when I buy a Kindle. All my other Kindles come in a very nice envelope, but this actually came in a box from Amazon, and the actual packaging is noticeably bigger than the regular Kindle Paperwhite. This is because the case is actually included in the same box as the Kindle. I was really expecting the case to be shipped in a separate box, but they actually bundle it all together into one box, which is a great way to save on packaging. It still had the Amazon Classic minimal packaging for all their Kindles, nothing over the top here. But what I found most interesting is after I opened the box, the case was actually already installed on the Kindle. I have never bought a product before where the case was pre-installed for you. Usually you put the case on yourself. So that was pretty nice to see where the case was already there on the Kindle. Now if you take the case off the Kindle, the Kindle itself is exactly the same as my regular Kindle Paperwhite. There is no difference at all. The only thing is it comes with the case already on it. Inside the box, you also get the standard USB-C connector for the new Kindle Paperwhite. And just like the other Kindle Paperwhite, there is no charging brick included. You have to supply your own adapter to plug in the cable. Let me talk about this case for a second. This case is actually very nice and durable. When you buy your Kindle Paperwhite Kids Edition, you actually have the option to choose which case you want. There's three different options as of making this video, a black one and two other ones that have these fun designs that I'm sure many kids would love. I chose the black one, which is a very clean, plain look. That's exactly what I wanted, a nice black color, which is very nice that they offer that. In terms of the material, it's very hard to describe. It is a matte finish. It's like a fabric material. It's nothing like the fabric that I have on my other Kindle Paperwhite. It's more of a softer, plain, no textured finish. I do like it a lot. It feels very nice and durable, very secure on my Kindle. It has all the same features as any other Kindle case would. It has the microfiber cloth on the inside of the flap. It has that same annoying hard shell on the outside. It also still has the magnets to close shut and put your Kindle to sleep mode and wake it up. If you want to learn more about Kindle cases, I have a whole video talking about this. It's exactly the same as the other cases, just a different material and different design. Link for that video on the screen right now and down below. One thing I will say is the case does seem a bit more stiff when you fold it back. All my other Kindle cases are very easy to fold back and put the flap on the back of the Kindle. On this case, there definitely is a bit more resistance. That's probably because the material is a bit more durable. And I do think after some time breaking it in, it will loosen up a bit. For a free case, this is an amazing case. I'm actually shocked that they're able to include this for free and not charge any extra money for it. Next, I want to talk about turning the Kindle on and actually setting it up. Turning it on and setting it up is very similar to any other Kindle up until the point where you log into your Amazon account. Once you get to this point, things do change a little bit. Once you're logged in, the first thing it's gonna ask you to do is activate the one year Kindle Kids Plus subscription. There is no way around this. You have to activate it. Even though it's a one year free subscription, there's no way to opt out of it. There is this option for gifting your Kindle. Say you bought the Kindle as a gift for somebody else. You can press that gift option, but all that will do is log you out and you have to log back in afterwards and go ahead and press that activate button once you're there. The only problem with this is it's just a one year free subscription. It's basically a one year free trial. After that expires, they're gonna start charging you every single month. It's not the biggest deal. You can opt out after you activate it so the auto renewal does not happen. But the problem is you have to go to the website to do that. So if you're buying this without the intention of using the kids subscription, don't forget to go to the Amazon website, go to your account subscriptions page and cancel the auto renewal. You can't do it on the Kindle itself. You have to go to the computer. So once you activate it, only then can you go to the next step of setting up your Kindle. The next step over here is setting up a profile for your kid on the Kindle over here. I really love how they use the word kid on the, all their instructions. They don't call it child or children. They literally use the word kid. You have to set up a profile for your kid 
very informal, but pretty funny as well. Once you set up a profile, I made a fake one for myself with my name and a fake birthday. You also have to set up a parental controls pin so you can't have a kid unlock it by mistake. This pin will be used to protect the settings and any other management of the device. So I just made this one, two, three, four for example purposes. Once your profile is made, it's gonna ask you if you want to assign any books from your primary Amazon book library over to the new kid profile that you just made. What I found hilarious is that none of the books I had were marked as kid friendly. What Amazon defines as kid friendly is literally books made for kids. All my books are nonfiction, perfectly normal books, but those are not considered kid friendly by Amazon. You can go and manually go through your library and assign certain books. You don't have to do this. I chose to skip this step, but if you actually are using this to give this to a kid, you can assign some of the books that you like over to your kid through this feature, which is really nice. You can share books that you've already bought with your kid. After doing that, you're basically done with the setup portion. You'll be back on your home screen now, but the home screen is not the same as a normal Kindle. This is where the software part of it comes in. Now, before talking about the software, I do want to mention something that really irks me. This Kindle Paperwhite I just bought for the kids model, I bought this in 2022, January. It still had the old software from three to four months ago prior to them updating the user interface of the whole Kindle. That really bugs me. I can't believe Amazon is shipping Kindles with software that's almost three, four months old now, especially an update that is so massive in terms of changes. I really wish they would send the new software update to all their new Kindles before they were mailed to customers. This is really embarrassing for Amazon. I don't know why it's like this, but I would never want to buy a product with software that's months old, especially if it's missing key features that I can't have until they update. Putting that one little annoyance aside, I actually really love the kids software on the Kindle. And I actually really want Amazon to take some of these features and bring them over to the regular software. Let me explain what I mean by that. The kids version of the software is very minimal. They actually dumbed it down very, very much. And I really like that. The essential stuff is still the same. At the bottom of the screen, you still have your home tab with all these recommendations, kind of annoying, but you also have this recent tab, which is the equivalent of the library tab on a regular Kindle. This is where you're gonna see all the Kindle books that you have in your library right over here without all the distractions of recommendations. In terms of reading a book, that is exactly the same experience. No difference there. You can still change all the settings, fonts, margins, you can still change all those things. No difference in terms of the reading experience on the kids' software. In terms of searching for books in the search bar on the top, it will limit all your results to kid-friendly books, which is kind of annoying. You can't search for regular books in this store menu over here. You're only limited to the kids' catalog, which is really frustrating, but I do understand why. If you're actually giving this to a kid, you only want them seeing kid-friendly books, and that's actually Actually a great feature for that. Putting all that aside, there really isn't much else you can do on the kids software. There's no web browser, there's no crazy setting menus to go through. All you can do is go through the kids catalog of books and read. But there is one more setting that I find really, really cool. It's not even a setting, it's actually a feature for awards. Now I have to say, I love this awards section over here. This feature, I really, really want Amazon to bring this over to the, a regular Kindle software. It would make me so happy, and I think a lot of people would really love this too. It's the exact feature that I've been looking for for the longest time. My Kobo has it, but on the regular Kindle software, this does not exist. I don't know why they don't just bring it over. Let me explain what it is. Basically, this award section is a place Place where you can unlock badges for reading books. It will track how many pages you read, how many minutes you read. You can even set a daily reading goal and you could unlock awards as you accomplish this. I love this stuff. It really encourages you to read more books and get that momentum going. Just like an Apple Watch has those fitness rings, 
That is such a big motivator. This is the equivalent of that for reading books. And I don't know why Amazon is choosing to limit this to kids only. I understand why it's a kid's feature, but this should be a feature for everyone else too. Next to these awards, you also have this activity section. And you can actually see the raw metrics of how many minutes you've read per day, how many pages you're reading on a monthly even basis or a cumulative basis to see in total how many pages or minutes you've read. This is the coolest thing ever. I don't know why I can't do this on my regular Kindle Paperwhite. It would make me so happy. You can access these metrics on the Kindle app on your phone, but I hate using my phone for reading books. I want to access all these metrics on my Kindle itself. And now that I know it actually is a feature that exists on the kids software, it makes me so angry that I can't do this on the regular Kindle software. So Amazon, if you're watching this, please bring this feature over to the regular Kindle software. It would make so many of us so happy. Now you're probably wondering, I can't really use this Kindle as my primary device if it's this locked down. The cool thing is you can actually turn off this whole kids software experience experience. All you have to do is go to the settings, enter your parental codes pin, and voila, you're completely unlocked and it'll log you in to your primary Amazon account, the adult version of it, where you can see all the regular settings, regular software, all your books will show up just the way you normally would see them. It turns into a regular Kindle at that point. One thing I want to know is actually this Kindle's kids software is nothing special. You can go to any Kindle Paperwhite or any Kindle that you already own go to the Amazon Kids section of the settings and you can access this exact software that I'm talking about and showing you right now on any Kindle. You don't have to have the kids version of it to use any of these software features. It's simply a setting that you turn off and on. They're just branding this Kindle as a kids Kindle, but it's all done through software and you can turn any Kindle into a kids Kindle. Now again, if you're buying the Kindle Paperwhite Kids Edition and you don't intend to use it for the kids' purposes, all you have to do is go to the settings, enter your parental codes, it will basically log you out of the kids' profile that you made. And you could take it one step farther after that and just delete the profile and you have a perfectly normal Kindle right after you delete that profile. Just don't forget to cancel that Kids Plus subscription that I talked about before. You can't do that on the Kindle. You really have to go to a computer and do it there. If you don't do that, you'll be charged monthly after that one year free trial expires. If you're interested in learning more about the Kindle Paperwhite, putting the kids features aside, check out my Kindle Paperwhite review where I go crazy in depth of every single feature this thing has to offer. Link for that on the screen right now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.